Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Lovelocks. Welcome back to Deadly Premonition 2. I don't even remember what I'm doing here. Return to York's room and review the case. Find all of the third to Lee. Talk to the mirror at Irzuli Frida. I think I just came in here to save. Well, let's take a look around since we're here. Amen. That can't be comfortable! <laughs> Look at the way he's sitting! His feet are even on the ground! His feet aren't on the ground and his hands are on his knees. And I think that's the animation they're going for. Same with her. She's just warming her hands on the fire of her knees. Hey there, Mr. York. <laughs> Looking sharp as usual. What'll it be? Oh, let's talk, Melvin. Melvin, is there any data about this town that I should know? Data? Yes. Info that a sheriff like you would want to relate to me. Hmm. Prob problem is, I reckon you already know everything there is to know. You're really putting me on the spot here. There's gotta be at least one thing. Hmm. Oh yeah! Yeah, yeah, I got the perfect thing! Well then, go with it. Yellow devil storm the town, your worst fear buzzing to life. The killer bees! There's nowhere to hide. Anywho, the town's been suffering from killer bee attacks lately. I tried taking some of the town budget and putting a bounty on the targets, but... Mmm. I reckon everyone's too scared to try and exterminate them. So, now I ask you. Feel like getting rich? If you can complete this mission, I'll give you the bounty. How's that for some data? Zach, that reminds me. Credit cards don't work in this town. It might be a good idea for us to secure some extra cash. In addition, bees have always held a high spot in the list of creatures that kill the greatest number of human beings. Right in between jellyfish and water buffalo. You know what that means. This is a job for the FBI. Melvin, I'll do it. Zach and I will officially take on this request of yours. Well, I'll be. You're really helping us out here. I promise to do my best to make you a rich man, Mr. FBI Special Agent. <laughs> uh, I wish I could run at the speed of walk like Morgan can do. Run at the speed of walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's not running. That's running. Um, remember that one got killed was like out of it and thinking she would become a doll or something? My school mascot is the bees? That's what I thought he was going on about. Okay, so we got a bee mission, apparently. The, the uh, texture uh, resolution on this game is so low that we can't read the nameplates. <laughs> What's down here? That's one good way of uh, not having to come up with names for people. Oh, it's her! Oh, right, we threw her in jail. She's just been sitting like that the whole time. That was the boss fight. I guess we're gonna uh, imprison all the bosses here. You can read the little floor signs, though. Floor signs. I don't get it. There's a toilet in the jail cells, but no sake. How does one wash your hands? I think you answered your own question, Joseph. 
Think about it. I'd rather not think about it. Okay, don't think about it. I forgot to uh, clean my glasses. Luckily, I've got some time. Everything is massive for this town, Joseph. Did you see the uh, hotel and like the even like the factory, like the meat factory storage place? I don't even know what to call it. It was massive. Oh yeah, the Raccoon City Police Department's pretty huge too. Eh? I never thought of it that way. And the killer- <laughs> That's what it is! Everyone's fucking huge in this town. The killer's 10 feet tall. Wait, aren't you inside? How is he inside and outside? Oh, I want to get a tan. That's right. How do I open my... Oh, album. Nope. 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 There it is. <laughs> it's all repurposed from Giants! Oh, this game. I don't know how long I'll be able to play for today because I, I, I went... I got to, to bed at like 7 in the morning. So I'm really tired, but I'm going to enjoy it while it lasts. What the fuck was I doing? Oh yeah, I wanted to uh, put some suntan lotion on. See if that gets us a tan. What's that for those who want the perfect tan? Makes it easier to tan for a while. So I'm going back to the hotel. <laughs> you guys remember this? Hold on, is there like a beach? Mississippi River. I guess if I want to go to the beach, maybe I go over here. This is what the game... This is what games the game of the year quality. <laughs> Well, this came out last year, didn't it? Hey! Oh, I'm already la- I already- My jaw's already hurting and like nothing's happened. <laughs> Can win game of the year. Better. No, that's that's reserved for bug snacks. It's bug snacks and this every year. Game of the century, yeah. Well, wasn't Dark Souls recently? Um, didn't it recently win like best game of all time? So I guess not. I guess it's Dark Souls. Zach, let's go over our progress. Let's. We've got a complicated case on our hands this time. Oh, Bug Snacks is the Dark Souls of Snacks games. So, that's a good point. Especially as far as the Clarkson's relationships go. But in a way, it's also a simple one. Understanding them on a deeper level is the most efficient way to uncover the truth behind all this. That's the one thing I'm sure of. I don't know if I want to understand this family. Evidence organization start. Zach, let's start with the people who were closest to the victim. Lise Clarkson, the victim, 
is the granddaughter of the current head of the Clarkson family. Her mother is Galena, an ex-actress, and Lise clearly inherited her beauty. Except for her eyes, that is. Lise's eye color matches that of her father's. Now, do you remember who Lise Clarkson's father is? Chat, who is Lise Clarkson's father? <laughs> no one knows. PJ, isn't it? Wrong, Zach. Fuck! That's Lisa's grandfather, not her father. Fuck! Hey, porcupineologists. Go on. Think back and remember. Melvin? That's right. Lisa's father is Danny Clarkson. His real name is Daniel E. Clarkson. Oh, that's why... I was confused because I know him as Daniel E. Clarkson. Joseph, thank you for gifting subs to Izzy, Wakaza, Void. I had to murder Void in my Crusader Kings 3 playthrough last night. There's a consolation, Void. Fnord and Trobiard. I'm sure it's spelled differently, but I love how Galena looks. Very square, like stone and... Uh, all silvery and sci-fi looking, yeah. He's from Florida, and used to be the CEO of a talent agency. Danny struck the heart of Galena, and successfully became a member of the esteemed Clarkson family. Oh, right! This is, that's the guy that we, isn't that the guy that we met, um... At the, uh... At the, the, the ranch? Or the plantation? Despite being the son-in-law, he acts like he was born a Clarkson. I remember that now. I remember that guy now. But he's still just the son-in-law. Next comes what happened to Lise. According to Alexis, Lise said that the man was as tall as an oak tree. Did you notice how loud the music got there for a second? I had to turn it down. It was so fucking overpowering. I believe that's the same 10-foot tall giant who made the fingerprints we found in the cold storage warehouse. Now, what did this man do to Lise prior to her murder? Stalked her. Yes, that's it, Zach. It's all coming together. Love. Stylish woman. Stalked the man as tall as an oak tree. Ten foot tall man with monstrous strength. Body hidden. Not even commenting on the fact that Galena is just a terrible spelling of Galina. Which means hen in Italian. Huh. Uh... I don't know either. The man as tall as an oak tree followed Lisa around and watched her. Despite his towering stature, he must have been rather shy. Well, Avery was kind of shy, wasn't he? Or perhaps he was merely biding his time and planned to kidnap her from the very start. If that's the case, there should have been some evidence left at the scene of the crime. Oh, right. Avery is only like 6'9". Hmm. Zach, we're still missing some puzzle pieces. She can be named after the stone. Speaking of the scene of the crime... I did some profiling in the plantation's control room. The truth it revealed to us was nauseating and horrific, but we need to touch upon it if we wish to proceed. Isn't that right, Zach? Who actually murdered Lise Clarkson? Her mother. Yes, that's right. What's the stone? Galena. You the you know how loud the music is? Oh yeah, it is, it is stone. It's called, also called lead glance. The natural mineral form of lead sulfide. Most important ore of lead. Important source of silver. Galena, oh yeah! I remember collecting that when I was playing, um... Subnautica Below Zero, that was one of the rocks that you collect. 
Kalina is one of the most abundant and widely distributed sulfide minerals. It crystallizes in the cubic crystal system, often showing octahedral forms. See, Blacko? Sometimes you 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 project your culture and get the wrong impression. Because you thought it was an Italian thing. Gotta be careful. Not all about Italy. Alright, this is about... <laughs> I don't know. This is about giant oak tree people. Okay? Lisa's own mother killed her. While she was dreaming about some bizarre new world. What is this about? It's about... <laughs> it's about America. It's about connecting. It's about death. It's about strand game. This is by far the vilest and ugliest crime we've ever seen. It's about monster energy. The fact that Galena set up her daughter's body at an altar makes this case even more complicated. Remember, not a single sacrificial human murder has ever been proven and documented in all of American history. Not a single sacrificial human murder. What did like the witch trials be sacrificial murder almost? The real world is far more complex than what we see in films and video games. There's like this whole thing where they set up a pyre and then they burn them. And sacrificing a human life for something else is no easy task. In conclusion, Zach, through our investigation, we found one character who sticks out more than anyone else. Yeah, the idea is that they're sacrificing... They're not really sacrificing... ...them, like, to appease some god. Or whatever. You know exactly who I'm thinking about, don't you? We'll need to have a word with her in the near future. Who's the stylish woman we saw during the profiling? Professor R. We haven't met her yet, but she's deeply intertwined with this case. There have been plenty of people killed in the past who were killed to appease a god. Yeah, I guess he's saying it's never been proven. There was this whole thing in like the the 80s and 90s, I think, and 70s, 70s and 80s, I think, mainly in the states of like there was all these like satanic cults everywhere murdering people and just none of it was true <laughs> it was just like it was just people going crazy um and there's just like no it was mainly just like your run-of-the-mill like serial killer killings like they're not wasn't like some satanic thing Let's wait for the skeletal gentleman to guide us to her with an oracle. It was just like some people with extreme mental illness. And like horrible upbringings. Yeah, and like group panic. That, and that's when like D&D &D got painted with that brush too. Well, Zach, what do you think? Isn't the Deep South something? Yeah. There were rumors of satanic cults harboring pedophiles. It's kind of like the QAnon stuff. It's like that. The people here are just as warm as the weather, and the food is to die for. Might be nice to move down here after I retire. What, still too early to talk about that? You may be right. After all, this case has only just begun. kind of the opposite well it's pretty much the same thing actually because they pretty much think that there's some kind of cabal of people that like eat children or something and hillary clinton is their leader <laughs> i watched that that uh q into the storm documentary on uh i guess it's on hbo max but it was, it was on crave here boy that was crazy this 
Okay, man, whatever gets you through your day, but like, goddamn. Just don't believe it's real. Yeah, I guess it's it could be entertaining. Kind of like this game could be. Ooh. Galena can't be the killer. They're making all this shit up. He's got a fucking really loud gator. If what you say is true, Daniel, how do you plan to prove it? It's nearly been a century since the Clarksons first took control of Lucari. One hundred years. I always thought my legacy would live on for two, no, three hundred at least. I'm gonna find the real killer and beat the living dog shit out of him. Yet it looks to me like times have changed. We ain't in the good old days no more. Jesus. You understand me, boy. Yes, sir. I'm right there with you, Paul. I'm gonna continue what you started, sir, and make the Clarkson family strong again. First, I need to find whoever really killed Lise and bash their fucking brains in. I saw this coming. Ever since the day Lenny left home, the town of Lucare has been cursed. Who's Lenny? We can't stop what's happening now. It's too late. It's beyond me. No. It's beyond the minds of anyone who comes from the olden days. You understand me now, boy? Yes, sir. Not really. Believe me, I do. I'll kill him. Just leave everything to me, Paul. Hmm. Are you serious about this? Why yes, is this iPad shaking? Right hand of God. Look right in my eyes. I ain't lying. I'm serious. I just need you to lend me some troops, sir. We need retribution right now. That's the job I've been given, and I intend to do it. Well, then, let me ask you one more time. Are you serious about this? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm a Clarkson, and all Clarksons have a job to do. <clears throat> Isn't that what we always say? Mm hmm Then I'll need an arm. Yeah. What? Well, now, you want to use my troops. I'm going to need to know whether or not you're really serious about this. Just one arm. Slide it on through that wire there. And it'll take care of it for you. Paul, I mean, you're joking, right? Paul? Daniel, have I ever told you a single joke? Uh, no, but... If you want to become a real Clarkson, <laughs> then you done got yourself a job to do. Wait, Paul. I, I get it now. You, you you want me to stick it in and pull it out at the last minute, right? You, you, you want to see if I got guts or not, but there, there's going to be another way. What the fuck? <laughs> they tied me to, sir. You can't be <laughs> A gigantic piece of meat. Hey, hey, knock it off, you assholes. Let me go. He's just joking with me. Let me go, goddammit. Oh, please, sir, don't do this. Just tell me this is a joke, please! <laughs> He's not moving. I am a clockson. And no matter how our fortune falls, all Clarksons have a job to do. Mm. 
that be the law of this land. <laughs> that dude is the. Oh, right, I've seen this before. I forgot the underwear cowboy dude is the fucking sax player. Hey, not a giant. How you doing, buddy? You came at the right time. Wait, is that tattoo a hand coming from her vagina and going for a cupcake? <laughs> uh, did you guys have fun last night? I'm sorry I couldn't make it out. I just was not feeling up to going out. That was episode one! I should have played a S! PJ Clarkson's not going to have any relatives left at this rate. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like... It's awesome! Oh, that's a good point. I can add that as... Let me do something real quick here. I can add that as a follower emote. Emotes. I was trying to think of some follower emotes to add. That is perfect. It's awesome. Follow remote. Boom. Added. Hey, Asha. I think I need to refresh this. The site was fun. Awesome. Reload. There it is. Oh, it's not showing up. Can you guys see that? I refresh again. Oh, I see it. I see Joseph. Doesn't show up for me, though. There we go. Okay, battle results. Completion time. Days passed to enemies defeated 61. Continues zero. Completion reward zero? Cash 1027. Special reward. Sharpshooter bonus. Penalty none. Squirrel 7. <laughs> Pains 54. Capitanos and Puccinellas. Those are, so those, the, that's the uh, scissor people, I guess, are the Capitanos. I don't think you have to put the, the, uh, the, the, the things. They're Italian carnival masks, as someone mentioned. Okay. Pulcinello, Pulcinella, but not Capitano. You know, you know one of those. Major cash. Uh, colons, you don't put the colons. I don't know why I couldn't think of what those were called. Uh-oh. York. You can hear me, right? I'll be with you soon. I'm not sad. Honestly, I can't wait. It's all I think about lately. I mean, we'll be together again. We'll get to discuss movies, food again. Everyone around here has bad taste. They don't, they don't understand, understand things the way we do. It's a shitty world filled with shitty people. Oh, 
that reminds me. There are movie theaters and restaurants over there, right? As soon as I get there, let's go grab some peanut butter hamburgers and yogurt and smoothies. I'm so excited, York. Am I doing something wrong? I'm being told I need to follow LLT's emote. I don't know. I literally just added it, so it could be that you need to refresh or something. So this is Francis Morgan. Please. Oh, there, there she is. Don't rush me. You just need to wait a bit longer. I still have one job left to do. I need to finish it. I have to, or else I'd never be able to face you. Just, just give me a little more time. Okay. I don't think he's got much time left. That was the fairy. We're back to 2019. Well, that was Zach, not York. Pumpkinhead. So, Lisa's mother, Galena Clarkson, confessed to murdering Lise. But then immediately afterwards, she went insane. So you had no choice but to detain her. What a terribly convenient story. You were the first person to find the suspect hiding at a farm on the edge of town. Oh, right. Just got here. Already confused. Well, remember this start? This is how it started. And this is Francis Zach Morgan. And he was talking about how he could see a fairy on her lap and stuff. That was him, <laughs> and he could. Now we could see the fairy, and I guess he was like about to die or something, and he is going back to York. Is that, is that clear stuff up? It's kind of like they're two characters. I think something happened to York after the Deadly Premonition one case that caused. Zack to take over or something. <laughs> and you even got her to confess to the crime right then and there. I okay, how where he kind of went. I don't really honestly, I don't really remember how one ended. With the blonde woman, right. <sighs> Can you remind me? I'm sorry, it's been so long. I, I've played so many games since. Yes. He's hanging out with all the dead people in the diner. Okay. York was, yeah. Okay, I kind of remember. Sorry, I, I, I might spoil some stuff for the, the first game. But I'm presuming you're watching this because you already watched the first game or played it. Did anyone else get a chance to hear Galena's confession? Only us. How did you even find that shack in the first place? And then Zach was like, okay, buy York and have fun with Emily. Right. Discovers a murderer, but the blonde woman dies. Zach accepts being himself, and York leaves his body. Sharing the diner with the blonde woman. Okay. So, like, York is... York dies, pretty much. So, he, like, he almost sent, like, Zach is, like... This is who I am, and York kind of goes to the diner. The diner maybe being, like... A personality afterlife, almost? Yeah. Supposedly dead, or rather Zack doesn't need to use York to hide anymore. Okay. Metaphysical offender profiling. Meta what? Should I know this word? <laughs> Metaphysical offender profiling. It's like a Black Lodge thing, yeah, from, uh, from Twin Peaks. Purgatory... It's some kind of other other world, yeah. The term appears six times in the Lucare report. 
and 14 times in the 2010 Greenvale report. As long as you're solving cases, the people in charge don't really care what sort of words you use. But we're different. You utilized a highly abnormal method to instantly hone in on a suspect. I forgot, I need my uh, DP2. So someone mentioned it's possible the letters spell out something about they come they come in the rain because uh, the bad guys come out when it rains. This fairy character is new then unrelated to the first one. I don't remember there being a fairy in the first one. It could be Emily. Yeah, I, I didn't get a. I didn't really pay attention to that. Yeah, Emily was the the cop, right? Then you did it again, and again, and every time you used it, one term kept appearing in your files: metaphysical offender profiling. Is that when we would press A to profile? Mr. Morgan, would you mind explaining to us what this term means? Sunny, thank you for the nine months. You, we have acquired the trait pregnant. <laughs> it's a little CK3 joke. When some, when, when like your wife gets pregnant in Crusader Kings 3, there's like a little thing at the top of the screen that says, this character has gained the trait pregnant. <laughs> it's like the least romantic God. thing ever. But no matter what words we used, you'd never be able to understand. Ratman could. You see, it doesn't pertain to this side. And it's like when someone dies that you've imprisoned, there's a little thing that pops up on the side that says, your acquaintance died. And I was like, I open it up and I'm like, oh, it's someone we had, we had in jail. Sunny and me, nine months, Twitch baby. Come, my fairy. Come, come, my fairy. Stop hiding back there and give them the explanation they so desire. <laughs> what? Yes, Asha is here. Are you too shy? Oh, you missed it, Asha. We had, uh, when I was playing uh, Kingdom Two Crowns with Odd, we got a... Um, we got a, uh, a a cat chariot. It's it was Freya's chariot. It's like a chariot with two cats drawing it. Call it Jospe in remembrance of Ella writing your name wrong for so long. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. Come on out. Don't be. Oh shit, I skipped it. He's like, come on out. Is that all you have to say? Don't underestimate me, Morgan. I know you and the Clarkson share a deeper connection. Much deeper than how it appears on the surface. I need to shake him with something else that's directly connected to the Clarksons. I'm gonna jog his memory by force. Those letters look very old. The postmark suggests they were sent out from Louisiana. And... Oh, has a Clarkson, uh, thing. I suspect that dragonfly mark belongs to the Clarkson family. Speaking of the little shit is watching the stream. Hey, Freya! Who's a good kitty? Yeah, Clarkson seal. <clears throat> Maybe. So what if it does? A stalker has been harassing Patricia Clarkson for several years now. He would have known the cops were coming, right? So he'd probably set all this stuff up. Did you know about this? Constant silent phone calls, unmarked letters, 
She also spotted a suspicious figure lurking near her mansion several times. And just last week, her employees spotted a strange figure lurking in the vicinity. How many children did I abduct yesterday? Actually, I was letting letting a lot of them go. Uh, uh quite a few. I kind of lost track. I let them go so I could gain uh, leverage on them, so that when they grow up, I could use them to like manipulate other people. Strange figure lurking in the, the vicinity. The day someone else coincidentally used your alias and traveled to Louisiana. That's very intriguing. Aligned symbolism. Lise Clarkson also reported being harassed by a stalker just before she was murdered. I wonder if this is, uh, I wonder if Francis York Morgan is doing all this stuff and not, and not Francis Zach Morgan. Like, York escaped from the diner. Ah, uh, it's Crusader Kings 3, Asha. That's just what you do. You, like, raid lands to gain um, prestige and money, but then every once in a while you'll abduct someone from the lands, and you can uh, you can ransom them or you can let them go, for and you get a hook on them that you can use against them later. You get 10 gold each for the children. You're aware of this, correct? Because I didn't find any mention of this in your report. No direct connection to the case. That's what we must have thought. The visionary lies to himself, the liar only to others. It's a whole game about being a horrible person to children. Yeah. I mean, you're pretty much horrible to everybody. Which are you? That's enough for now. This all has nothing to do with the case. Besides, there's no evidence that proves those letters are from her. Isn't that right, my fairy? Hello, Haida. Interesting that Zack is smoking here. I remember that by the end of the first one, he stopped himself from smoking. But that was York, right? Maybe the smoking was Zack's personality coming through. Luckless Franklin Lovelocks, what have I told you about using children like that? It's not me, it's Arpad Arpad. And almost Arpad. No, it was Zack? Okay. Mr. Morgan, I noticed that several parts of this report have been redacted. I don't know, man. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> For example, here. One individual's name has been erased from the key figure list. Would you mind telling me why? Oh. Someone in charge must have thought it was unimportant. Or... Maybe even inappropriate. By the way, I think this game is coming out on PC soon. I should have waited for it to come out on PC so it doesn't run at 15 FPS. It's coming to Steam this year. It's probably going to come out later on. Why would they think that? How should we know? We've never understood what those people do. Well, I took the liberty of trying to restore what was taken out. Normal ink was used to blot it out, so I was able to recover part of it. That's a good question, Leader's like, but if it ran smooth, how will PC folks get the full experience? Would this game be better or worse if it ran smoothly? <laughs> Here's what it, it looked says look sharper sapling salesman all the other redacted parts seem sapling to be connected salesman. to this person but i can't think of a single reason why this individual would need to be removed from the report 
the jank fits in with the flow of the game, even if it's unintended. I agree, it's weird, like... It's like, let's say the room, I haven't even seen the room, but like, the room is the famous example. If like, the acting was good, would the game be, or would that movie be memorable? Like... No, right? If the, the, the shitty writing and the acting is like... And how cheap it is, is, is the charm of it. Why is he so untouchable? Oh, him. He's nothing. We were barking up the wrong tree. Pun intended? Meaning? Is this an, oh no, this came out last year? Do you remember Deadly Premonition 1, Asha? can't include someone who doesn't exist in an official report, now can we? Ah. Doesn't exist? You mean he had nothing to do with the case? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Well, actually, technically it's a prequel. Ida. Mr. Morgan. According to you, at the beginning of this case, the victim's body was being stored in the warehouse on purpose. Uh, you recently saw Fun House playing it again. Nice. Is that the truth? They really put her body there alongside food and other perishables? I guess it's kind of like most of the action takes place prequel time, but we're finding out what happens after Deadly Premonition 2 also. Or Deadly Premonition 1. It's in the report. No. The report only says it was stored using the most effective and shockingly inhuman method possible. If you can think of a better phrase, we're all ears. The report isn't wrong, you know. In fact, that might actually be the most accurate way of describing it. It's precise, and it's also kind of poetic, you know? <sighs> wow, Simon. We never would have taken you for a poet. Is Simon supposed to represent, like, the Deadly Premonition fanboys or something? <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> you two think this is a joke? <laughs> Lee Clarkson's body was discovered in that cold storage warehouse. Just no one says anything and then she's just like... Do you think this is a joke? After 14 long years. If you'd only done a proper investigation, we probably would have found her much sooner. <sighs> That poor girl. We still regret the fact that we never got to meet her. We're sorry from the bottoms of our hearts. That's right. They found her later because she was moved. When we when we went to the scene where the body was, or the murder was, or whatever, she wasn't there. I only hope it didn't happen that way by design. But they stored the body. Okay, they took her body. They were storing it there, right? That's not where the murder happened. It was at the altar. Where did they move? What happened to her body? I guess we don't know, right? The 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 giant's the one that took it. Will you comfort me? Ashida, merci beaucoup pour le 30 31 31. Is it 31? What? That doesn't sound right. We haven't seen our little psychic yet, yeah. Thank you. I'm talking fairy. too much. <laughs> I have to catch up with you guys. I knew it wouldn't go that easily. Maybe I should try asking my questions in a different way. I could use Agent Jones here. This is a nice building. 
82. Layout isn't bad either. I think it's 31. Whew. Must be rather expensive to rent a place like this in Boston. It's 32, but you can't say 31, can you? That doesn't sound right to me. How many other rooms are there in this apartment? That room over there, your bedroom? Huh. Why so curious, Belle? It almost sounds as if you're seeing this place for the first time. Aside from the hardware shop on the first floor, every apartment in this building has the exact same layout. We're well aware that you studied the layout of this apartment before you came to see us. Well, he also spelled Catherine de wrong, so I think you're good, Asha. There's no need to act so roundabout. <laughs> Just be honest. Say it. Catravan, do you? I want to see your bedroom. Well, then. Doesn't mean we'll let you see it, though. That's cat on de. Come on. It's bugging you, isn't it, Aaliyah? Huh? What? I get it, I get it. It's bugging me, too. It's even got my heart racing a little. <laughs> it just changes spots. The newest rat man. Hey, look at this. Nothing but DVDs. Not a single Blu-ray in sight. Just pure, unadulterated DVDs. Library and grapefruit. Pamplemousse? Librairie? <laughs> Bibliotheque. Bibliotheque is library. I, I don't know VHS what the is. <laughs> I think I just made that up. I don't even have a VHS player in my house anymore. Whoa, look at this. Check it out. This one's got a lot of pizza in it, remember? There was, uh, Jabba the Hutt was Pizza the Hutt in Spaceballs. You're not wrong, Simon. There's a very large quantity of pizza in that film. I like Poplar Moose as well. Trente er? Okay, good. 1987, directed by Mel Brooks. The version on that tape is the one we recorded back when you could catch it on cable TV. Pizza the Hut. Can you imagine liking something like movies so much, understanding so little of it? What? He understands movies better than any of us. He, he literally sees real life through the movies. That's his lens. Oh, seriously? Damn, Morgan, that's incredible. You're really living the dream, man. I hope you both haven't forgotten that this conversation is also being recorded. Whoops. Agent Jones. Are you paying attention? Or do you intend to waste Mr. Morgan's precious time? Uh, no. Sorry. I'm just a little tired. I'm listening. I'm listening. Take your hand out of your pocket. Didn't they teach you any manners at Quantico? Oh, uh, right. Guess they slipped my mind. That's what everlasting cigarette. Either that or his pain receptors are dead. My bad. <laughs> I don't I don't think we can interpret what Francis says about movies as what Sweary thinks about movies. I think he's just having fun with the concept. I'm actually kind of nervous. I'm not used to this sort of thing. Data analysis is my specialty, you know. I, uh, I'm sure I'd be able to calm down a bit. Love you, Ashina. Pizza, though. 
<laughs> I can't get over the milk that's taped together with duct tape. <laughs> Why? My explanation was that he would like, he could like drink it like this, like drink one, wrote like, Unscrew the other one, then drink it. Unscrew the other one, drink it, and then just like rotate it. Or maybe he wears it. Maybe he like wears it like um, he puts it like on his shoulders. It's like um, like a privacy screen. <laughs> or it's a flotation device. Yeah. <sighs> The FBI needs to do something about their lack of personnel. I'll have to ask the questions myself, but how should I start? Maybe I should look back over the files and calmly reassess the situation. After you arrested Galena Clarkson, you had a run-in with the Clarksons. At least that's what it says in the report. What exactly happened there? Just, uh... Simple run-in, that's all. Nothing but a single phenomenon. Chasing hollow instances like that won't lead you closer to the truth. Truth doesn't work like that. A hollow phenomenon, which resulted in a mountain of corpses. <laughs> oh, Belle. We think we finally understand what you're trying to say. But don't be so voracious. How about another cup of coffee? Yes. We've still got a long way to go, you know. Ha 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 